I'd, I'd say Send, Cut, Send is handier than pockets on a shirt. Man, over these last couple of years, while well, I've lost count of how many times I have used Send, Cut, Send to laser and bend or do something else with a piece of steel for my charger or Suburban or whatever project I'm getting at. Today, it kind of felt like it was high time to give you my dead honest review for their services. Before we get started, just so you know, Sincut Sin provided these parts to me, and in fact, provided you with a discount code. It's linked here in the description, so take advantage of 15% off, and then either buy more parts from them, sure, or like I like to do, tools and speed parts and all that good stuff. Let's get started. I kind of think that we're gonna go with this in three different categories. The first of which is ease of use. Do, do you and I, can we just access this right without too much headache? Two, we're gonna talk about quality. You know, do they execute uh, at what they say they will? And then three, value. Really, just for me, the most important one. Is it worth the dollars that we're gonna spend with them? We're gonna start this first one with ease of use. And out of five, I'm gonna say this is four of five. Uh, and the only reason I don't rate it five of five is because, well, you and I, we've gotta learn how to draw in 2D or 3D, whatever it is. Some skill is left to us. Remember, these guys are a service that bolts onto that. Now. The cool thing is, maybe it's four and a half, but you could, you could argue that it is more because they even have an online parts builder where even for the simplest parts, you and I don't have to go into our software, create something, export as DXF, shock tabs and little brackets, you can make those on their parts builder. You don't have to you know, pull up, like I said, your software and create that from whole cloth. The hurdle of getting over drawing something is really no different from learning how to use a plasma cutter or a table saw. This is really no different. You're just doing it in software with the benefit being that when you send it to laser, it's going to be made exactly as you drew it. Now, you and I've got to learn that as a skill, but it's just, I'm gonna tell you, it's not that tough. I bought and own Bend Tech software. It starts out as like tube bending, but they have a 2D plate kind of model in there. And you can put bends and basic things. I like that software. It's very easy to work with. You don't have a subscription service like other pieces of software where those subscription services are very expensive. This is one that you buy once, cry once, you own it. And once you learn to master it, you can move pretty quickly along through it, quite frankly. I'm kind of just too cheap to go buy the really nice SolidWorks or anything like that, so I stick to the basics. And that entry level is really quite low for folks like you and me, so I'd recommend that or SketchUp. Any one of those is gonna work really well. It just cannot be any easier taking a drawing off your computer, uploading it to their software and telling it, I want you to have this degree bend right here on this part, or I want these holes you know, to be threaded or to be flared if I actually want one that happens to be flared, like I could have asked for this to be flared if I wanted. The online interface is so dead simple, and the fact that they have their parts builder just really adds to it. Now, as far as quality goes, one of the things that you and I need to think about in context is 90% of what Send, Cut, Send does is cutting and bending and producing parts for other businesses. So some of the same manufacturers that you and I buy, brackets and tabs and so on for, they're making those for them. So you and I get to benefit from good industrial business to business type of quality transactions as consumers. And that's quite honestly a pretty rare thing. So I would rate quality five out of five for a couple of specific reasons. Their lead times are extremely predictable. If you're just getting a 2D laser part like this, I often will have this all drawn, designed, and submitted on a Monday. And I will have this often no later than Friday so that I can install it that night or at some point during my weekend process. That's super predictable and extremely valuable. If I add bending to that, this will often run into the next week. So these two parts were ordered together, so they came together. But if I add bending and I submit on a Monday, oftentimes my part will be there the following Wednesday. And like still, as long as you understand what the lead times are and they are consistent and predictable, you can run your project. Not only do they like nail the bend and, and nail the lasering every single time, and there's when they say they're gonna clean it deeper, all that stuff's true, right? For them, I think that quality is like kind of just table stakes. It's just the very entry level. They also cut it with nitrogen. Now, if you're a weld nerd like I am, what you know is that when they cut this with nitrogen, unlike my local laser shop that uses argon, this is a weld ready joint, meaning I don't have to clean it. If I got this from my local shop, I'd have to hit that with a wire wheel before it was ready to clean. 
because it would almost have like a plasma cut kind of edge where it was dark and scaly and whatever. This is ready for me to weld, whatever my process is. Now I'm gonna tell you I still wire wheel it because I'm persnickety. <laughs> Now finally, what we're gonna look at is, is any of this a good value? Like, is your, are your dollars, my dollars, yours? Are they spent wisely? Could I just put this on a bandsaw and drill and, 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 and make this all myself? Absolutely. Yeah, 100% of what you're looking at here, you could make on your own with some fairly basic tools. I submit, if you're making shock tabs and you're making this sort of stuff all by hand, you are burning a lot of hours on a part that just doesn't cost very much, that you can buy in a 10 pack, never mind send cuts in, you can buy shock tabs in a 10 pack from Barnes or Rough Stuff. Spending your time, thinking about how much your time is worth, from a value perspective, I'm gonna put these guys at a five of five because I get to buy one or two pieces where they don't punish you to get that second one. In fact, they offer you a discount on the second piece and you would rather you buy two than just one. That's huge value. They're thinking about you and me needing, quite frankly, are we gonna mess one of these up and do we need a backup? That is, that's, that's how they're modeled on how to price this stuff toward us. So it's an exceptional value. More than that, one of the things that you gotta think about is, well, what about every other laser shop? I mean, I, I live in Dallas, a major metro area with lots of manufacturing around here. And there's other laser shops that I could go to and you know have before. Every one of those laser shops, if I wanna order something out of 4130, what do you think the first thing that they tell me is? Go buy a sheet of 4130 and bring it to me and I'll be happy to cut it out for you. And they charge me to cut my material. Anyway, I'm not griping about them. I'm simply saying, Sin Cut Sin says, oh, do you want that out of 4130? What thickness? You want it out of mild steel? What thickness? How about AR500? What thickness? We got it all, man. And they let us do this at a pretty competitive rate, and you don't, ah, you and I, we don't have to buy sheets of material to accomplish that. That is huge value for you and me, to be able to buy the specific material we want, have it cut and bent to whatever we want. Not only that, these guys are adding services all the time. Just several months ago, they didn't have bending. Now they have the ability to flare holes, tap. They continue to add services because they listen to people like you and me so you and I don't have to go buy every single piece of tooling we want to build the car. We can use the service to accomplish that. And quite frankly, when you and I think about what our time is worth, if you're just buying this, waiting for it and installing it, you know, you're, you're kind of getting lower on the value scale. But if you're doing two things at the same time, you can stay pretty high on it. So I think five of five in terms of value. So like just my overall impression and my rating and would I recommend this to you? Would I recommend this to the, the people who come here and watch? And yes, I would. I'd, I'd rate it five out of five. I'd, I'd say send, cut, send is handier than pockets on a shirt. I figure also, I pulled you guys for questions. Just wanted to add, pick out three, right? First, how do you design the parts? Uh, I said earlier that I used a, some Bintech as my preferred software. There's a whole thing. If you want to get into this, it's a rich world right? Or a rabbit hole, depending on how you look at it. But I got into Bentec, drew a 2D model, established a bend line, sent it to them, and it was easy day. There's a bunch of other ways to draw it. Get into any one that you want. SketchUp, I think, is pretty interchangeable. But drew it on the computer, submitted it online, got the parts about a week and a half later. Pretty, pretty easy. Then uh, Kyle Kuhnhausen, who actually got me into Send, Cut, Send, uh, I think that's a good influence, uh, said, what's one service you'd like to see from them in the future? And I've always thought like countersinking, little counter bores or pockets, basic machining, right? 2D machining, just simple stuff like that would be pretty cool. But honestly, as soon as I say that, I went online and I saw they're starting to do countersinking. And I mentioned flare holes. I'm using like 3% of their available services. So I need to go take advantage of what they're doing right now from plating and anodizing and all sorts of other stuff. And then last one, that was my favorite question because it like really does get to the heart of the matter. It's the entire reason I put a value section on the rating. Alec Roshan asked, why not use a local fab shop? This can't possibly be the cheapest and quickest route for getting laser cut parts. Well, Alec, by golly, it might not be the fastest if you've got somebody closer to, closer to you and the cheapest, I don't know. But if you have a laser shop that cuts with nitrogen, has a weld ready edge, uh, if they have an online interface that you can submit, and if their lead times are dead predictable, then you should keep working with them, whoever that is. Uh, even here in Dallas, a major metro area, my laser shop is not that. 
It's email, and I never know what my status is until I get usually a three-word email that says, come get, please. And I drive across town, I go get the parts. They're always cut with argon, I always gotta prep the edge, and I only have three materials to choose from. Stainless, whatever aluminum fell off the back of the truck, and mild steel. I don't know, I, I think I'm gonna interpret your question as asking are they a good value, and I've already answered that earlier in the video. So cheapest and quickest, it's not really the criteria that I would submit Send, Cut, Send is really playing for. They're, at, they're wanting to be the best, right? The, the, that has a variety of materials and good, fast services. And they're competitive, right? Not the cheapest, not the most expensive, but competitive. And they're very predictable in their timing. I can get this stuff made in a week. My laser shop here locally probably does it in four days. To me, that's interchangeable. So, you know, they're pretty good for what they do. And I'm willing to wait five days to get what I want. But anyway, that's just me, and your results might vary. Maybe you've got a local laser shop you like working with, and you should keep working with them. But for those of y'all that are more distributed, that like to use the internet, like to order, and you think that that's got some pretty good value, this gives you a ton of services right to your door. Obviously, that's been transformational to me. I think it should be transformational to you. In fact, Send, Cut, Send also thinks that, and they gave me a discount link which is right here, it's 15% off. All you gotta do is use the link that's in the description, you'll get 15% off, and it's, uh, that's for you guys to go and well, buy other speed parts, other tools, right? The stuff that we like. But I hope this has been useful for you. I appreciate y'all being here, and uh, I'll find more of these reviews. I got plenty of tools to draw on, all right? Till next time, y'all take care.